Hello, I want to talk about um, uh, being married and having a disability. Um, I'm married, um, have been since 2005. Um, my husband, he is uh, one amazing man. Um, I'm you know, physically fit, you know, I, I walk, I can talk, I can feed myself, I can clothe myself, you know, I can do pretty much everything, you know, um, but as I get older, I slow, I'm slowing down, I'm not, you know, able to do things I was able to do when I was 20, or 25 for that matter, when I got married, so, don't worry, this is just water, uh, Anyway, so, um, I think that it's, just, it's very important to, when, you, when you're married, you know, when you're starting your marriage or before your marriage, you talk about, okay, this is, this is what I expect out of marriage, what do you expect, and then, you know, you can say, okay, well, I'm willing to compromise here, I'm here, and whatever, um, we did a lot of that, my, husband and I, we did not do any marriage counseling uh, prior to our marriage, um, or, or after our marriage, um, make up, but, uh, I think that, um, it takes, uh, not everybody's gonna be able to marry somebody who has a disability, um, it's very demanding. My husband will be the first to admit it is, and I'm the first to admit that, you know, it's pretty demanding, especially if you are disabled and have a child. Your partner is, you know, gonna need to do a lot of the stuff, you know? And you're going to need to be able to, uh, as a disabled person, I, I w had to put my pride aside and say, okay, I can't do everything. I need help. And who better to help me than my husband? And he was willing to help me. And uh, I think that that was great. Uh, we talked about children before marriage. We talked about my fears. Um, I didn't think I could get pregnant. Uh, so when I got pregnant the first time, I was elated, but I, then I feel set in. The other thing you need to um, be aware of, I guess, is that not everybody thinks disabled people should have children to begin with, um, or that they're capable of taking care of children properly, uh, and that, you know, that's their right to believe that or to, to whatever, but it's also the right of the disabled person uh, um, to say, well, if that's the way you feel, then I don't need you in my life. And uh, sometimes the people that say that or uh, believe that you are going to need more help than you actually do um, are entwined in your life and you can't say goodbye. Uh, as much as you'd rather say goodbye, you just can't. So what you need to do is, uh, at least what I've done is say, okay, I don't agree with you. You need to be able to voice your opinion to the to the people who have um, who question your ability to be a parent, and, and say, okay, I hear you, I, but I don't understand. I don't agree with you. Um, I, I have the belief that the Lord. Uh, never puts things in your path that he knows you can't handle. So everything that's ever happened to me in my life, he knew that I could handle. Whether if I knew it or not. Um, and I'm very thankful for everything that's ever happened to me in my life. And if you've seen my previous videos, you're probably thinking, what? But I am. I'm very thankful for everything that's happened in my life. I am thankful for the people that have uh, entered my life, um, good, bad, or indifferent. I, I just, 
I've learned that my life has meaning. I'm here for a purpose. I am here to serve other people um, and to the best of my ability. I am here to, um, you know, when I'm in service to other people, I, all my troubles seem to sort of wilt away. You know, it's just amazing. Anyway, uh, so getting back to marriage and having disability, it's hard and it's easy at the same time. As long as you find the right partner, the person who understands everything and, you know, it can be, it can be a good thing. Um, but also be aware that there are going to be people who just, you know, can't handle, and that's okay too. You know, as long as they recognize that they can't handle it and, and, and they leave things amicable, uh, that's great. Uh, especially if there are children involved in the situation. Um, you know, being amicable about uh, everything is, is a good thing. Um, I don't know what else to say about being disabled and, and, uh, and being married. Uh, I think that I've been blessed um, to, have, to have had uh, found or been guided to uh, my husband who uh, I know Heavenly Father sent to me because he knew that he could handle my, uh, he could handle me, so, uh, and trust me, I'm not that easy to handle, um, so I'm very honored to be his wife, and I'm very lucky, um, anyways, we have two beautiful sons now, I'm not quite sure if I want to get pregnant or if I can physically get pregnant again, but, uh, you know, the Lord will make it happen if it's supposed to happen and not make it happen if it's not supposed to happen and that's fine too. Whatever whatever he has for me, you know, whatever trials or tribulations or joys or happiness that comes my way, I'm, I'm ready for it. And uh, I know with my husband's guidance and his, uh, his authority here on earth, uh, I, I know that we'll be good to go. So thanks again for listening. I will be posting another video shortly. Thank you very much. Have a good one.